and everybody would have learned the points and they would have had their notes and taken it home. What about question and answer period? That's where you are lost. There was a physicist who had a fear of flying. So he decided his job was to educate the whole of the United States on um, that, the, that there were no dangers in using nuclear reactors because everybody had this mistaken notion that if you have a nuclear reactor in the neighborhood, then everything will be irradiated. So he, his job was to go around 114 cities. Now they gave him a ticket to fly unlimited to uh, all these cities to be able to deliver his speech on how safe nuclear power is. So he said, you know what, I have a fear of flying instead. Could you rent me a chauffeur and a car for that entire two months that I'm traveling around <coughs> and giving the talk in every city? So he did. He went from, drove from town to town, all across the United States, top, bottom, left, right, center, north, south, east, west. Until the last lecture, he would look exhausted. It was the 114th lecture he had to deliver. And the chauffeur looked at him and said, Professor, you look very, very tired. He said, yeah, I just... I'm so tired. But you know what? If you're so tired, I have a proposal for you, a suggestion. And he said, I will deliver the seminar for you. And I'll tell you why. I heard all your entire speech, and I think I know every word, every nuance, and everything you have done. I mean, I know it word for word. He proved it to the professor as well. The professor said, you know what? Why not? What the heck? So they exchanged uniforms. He wore the white, you know, uh, <laughs> coat, the, 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 the lab coat and all that, and the, the professor wore the chauffeur's uniform. And when they arrived at the seminar place, he started to deliver his speech, the chauffeur did. It was flawless. It was exactly the way the professor said, da, 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 word for word for word, until it came to question and answer time. He answered those questions really well because he heard those questions before. And so he heard the answers a hundred times and so he gave those answers back until one guy, the clown, there's always a clown, there's always somebody in there who's always the detractor, the person who's the exact opposite of everything you are. You say green, they'll say blue. You say up, they'll say down. Da, da, da. And that one person kept asking ridiculous questions until finally he asked a very, very ridiculous question. Well, the coefficient of nuclear fission da, 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 has to do with this whole da, 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 da. And therefore, I think this whole thing is, what is your answer to that? The chauffeur looked at the young man and said, you know, young man, that is such a stupid question. It's such a stupid question you should know the answer to. And now, just to prove how silly an answer it is that you should know, I'll get my chauffeur. <laughs> <laughs> so, so unless unless you really know your subject inside out, there is very little chance you'll get away with it. So you've got to master your subject. But at the same time, 